As we all know, Microsoft has had a rough time recently with revisions of their Windows operating system releasing. In hopes that they're turning their Titanic around, I downloaded an Insider Edition pre-release copy of Windows. In my short time with the operating system, I found five tips to help you use Windows 10. Number five, universal search. In an effort to help users find whatever they want to in Windows 10, Microsoft has added a universal search to the taskbar and the start menu so that you can find anything on your local machine, on your network, or the web. Number four, Cortana. No longer just a character in the popular Halo series of games, Cortana has been fully integrated into the Windows 10 desktop. So now you can ask questions with your voice. Cortana can do impressions, Cortana can tell jokes, Cortana can help you find things on the web, help keep your schedule, remind you of things coming up on your schedule, Cortana is fairly well integrated within the Windows 10 infrastructure. Number three, Snap Assist. This basic feature is nothing new to users from about Windows Vista on, save for the fact that Microsoft has given Windows 10 an interesting twist. Whenever you try to snap a window to the left or right hand side of your screen, Windows 10 will tempt you with other popular programs to fill in the extra side or the other gap of your interface. Number two, Task View. Although not a dynamic feature, Task View is still a very effective means of seeing all of the running programs in your Windows environment. Anything that's currently running can be viewed by pressing Window Key Tab and it will allow you to see a view, specifically the actual window itself, of every running application in your current desktop. Number one, multiple desktops. This is a feature that I've been waiting for for a long time. This gives you the ability to isolate windows based upon their purpose. So you can have a desktop based on browsing, a desktop based upon social interaction, a desktop based upon your productivity applications. And it allows you to then flip between those desktops with keystrokes or utilizing the task view functionality mentioned previously. Of all these features, multiple desktops is my favorite but I love all of the five that I presented to you. If you didn't like any of them or thought another feature should have made the cut, make sure to mention that in the comments. And as always, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.